What is up everybody, sysadmin Sean, and today we're gonna to talk about documentation. Now I mentioned it previously in a sysadmin struggle video, and some folks asked me how I like to do my documentation, and I'm gonna show that off, and I'm kinda of gonna show some other ways that I've done documentation, and I'd love to hear about what ways you like to do documentation, so stay tuned and see if your method is listed. So I like to use wikis. Now a lot of people are not into wikis. Uh, it's a little bit of a somewhat older, method of doing documentation, but I think they work great. I think they're an amazing way to one, build a style guide, which you absolutely need to do Two, create template pages so that when people are ready to do documentation, you, they don't have to learn anything. They can just copy a template page and follow that. And three, it allows you to link certain things together. So uh, for instance, maybe you know what your domain is, but you don't know everything that talks to the domain. Well, with the wiki, you can put in a page about your domain and then have a, this is a service for the following applications area. And then you can click that link and it'll take you to that applications document and it'll show you everything about that. We're right in the welcome page. This is just a simple Doku wiki. If we click on wiki syntax, this is all of our basic formatting and, you know, wiki syntax features. So everything that we, we probably could ever want to do is in here. And honestly, if it's not, there's a plugin for it, almost guaranteed. So this is what we want to follow when we are building our style sheet, our style guide that kind of tells us, you know, hey, we want this on our page. We want to use this formatting. How do I make a basic link? This. How do I make internal ones? How do I make external ones? How do I link to window shares? How do I add images? All that stuff is right here. So let's say we start here. You can see that we have wiki, colon, syntax, and then a name. Well, let's just grab one here and call, and we'll do wiki, colon, style, style guide. Let's preview it, see what it looks like. Looks good. There's no page there. That's what we want to see. We hit save. We click style guide. It's going to say this page doesn't exist yet. If we click create this page, because we can, we can now build this. So we could have one for servers, we could have one for software, we could have one for user creation slash onboarding, we could have one for user deletion slash offboarding. All of these different style guides for kind of like if a system has a feature, you can lay this stuff out. Now this is a pretty pretty standard and it's only protected via your username type stuff and things like that. And we can hit preview and of course that's just a bunch of text and it's going to act like that because we didn't follow any of the style guides. And that's cool for right now because we're just sort of typing some stuff up to show off. And then you may or may not have different services that you want to style guide for. So this would be specifically for how to make server style guides. So we go here. You can put basic information. This style guide will allow you to put in all the needed info in a format we request without having to learn the documentation uh, methods. There. Save, boom. Server style guide's created. So then we probably go back to start. And we got our style guide here. But now what we want to do is, um, actually, we need to go fix something. Let's see if we can go do that. Because I've got it here as servers, but really it should be server style. And I think that's going to mess up our, yep, see, now if we go to servers, we got to grab this info. Because we're going to use that. This page doesn't need to go away. We just need to make it not exist anymore. And then we go to style, server style guide, edit, bang, save. Hooray! Now we go back to start. So now we've got this style guide here, but let's say we needed, we actually want to have our, our servers page on the front. Bang, bang, boom. We go here, create, there should be a list button, yeah. Server one, server two, server three, server four, and so on and so forth. And there we go. And then of course we can say server one goes to the page, et cetera, et cetera. What is up everybody? Some more information from uh, your wonderful sysadmin, Sean. I've been playing with DokuWiki for a little while 
as you can see, I got a little bit more themed the way I want to, and I've started uh, building out guides. I just wanted to show you all some of the really cool stuff that you can do with one of these wikis. So as you can see here, I have a, a sidebar, and this takes me to specific headings. I'm going to open them in new tabs. And here I've got my servers, and of course if I go to the server, I can go there. And then I have external links. So I have a link to the asset. Um, over in the asset system. So there's information about the asset, how much it costs, its iDRAC IP address, model number, model type, all sorts of information. There's the serial number, their asset tech is somewhere in here. Um, the last time it has been edited, checkouts, I can generate labels, all sorts of stuff like that via the assets. Then I can go over here, click the iDRAC and go directly to its iDRAC if I want to, as long as you have, you know, the network connectivity. And of course I can even go to the Proxmox for, for Tiger Host one, which is, you know, the cluster. I did the same thing here on the, uh, the site, the style guide so that I can, you know, pull up all my assets. As you can see, I've been doing a little work over here too. And maybe I want to just get the, the main cluster real quick. Boom. There it is. So that's really cool that you can do that with, um, with wikis and you know like I said, you can show recent changes i did some file uploads you can see old revisions of different documents so that you have change control and revision history in case somebody deletes something or you lose something you and you can also edit how long you keep those kind of revisions so that's really cool and i just wanted to show that and back to the rest of the video later let me know what you think about wikis and uh you know tell me what you like about wikis what you don't like about wikis and yeah we'll see you in the next one